happy friday today is friday it is the first day of the weekend vlog and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it's all about creating a good lifestyle okay lifestyle lovers so i know you guys have wondering where i've been because i have not vlogged in probably about two weeks so i'm going to tell you what happened the last time I tried to vlog. Let me try to find a space. Okay, so the last time that I started a vlog, which probably was about two weeks ago, if you guys hear something in the background, that is the, that's the washer and the dryer. Let me close the door, cause it's kinda loud. Okay, that's better. So, the last time that I started a vlog off, which probably was about two weeks ago, every single thing that I was saying that I was gonna do in the vlog, I never did. I told you guys in that vlog that I was going to be reorganizing and cleaning out the pantry. There's the pantry. Still not reorganized. Well, it's cleaned out, but it's not organized. I never did that. Um, that particular weekend, we had a jazz festival in Jacksonville. Babyface came. Kim came. Um, Jeffrey Osborne so it was like a three-day festival and I was planning to go on Sunday I was planning to take you guys with me but by the time I got done with all of my Sunday routine duties going to the grocery store washing clothes I didn't feel like going so I told you guys we were gonna do that and we never did that so I pretty much scrapped the entire vlog and just kind of took a break from vlogging I also had been filming a clean with me and it was just taking me too long to, to get it done and I wanted to just finish cleaning my house so I scrapped that as well. But I'm back. We're not going to worry about the past. I have been, I am going to do a clean with me because I have been trying some new cleaning products which I may share with you guys in this vlog but I'm not going to talk about anything that I may or may not do just in case it does not get done. Um, So I just pretty much washed my hair and prepped it i do have a hair appointment today this is also a work from home day i have my laptop over here you guys kind of seen me working a little bit earlier so it's a little bit later on in the day i'm going to go ahead and try to finish up my work day and then we're going to go to the salon and we'll just see what's next i'm not going to say what's next what's not next because i don't know but i am going to get my hair did i cannot miss my hair appointment so I'll check back in with you guys once I get to the salon. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I'm getting ready to head out the door to go to the salon. I'm going to take this book with me. I've been reading Tabitha Brown's new book. It is called Feeding the Soul. And then she has in parentheses because it's my business. This is a really, really good book. I am on chapter, chapter eight. Let me see how many chapters it is. It is 30 chapters. So, not halfway through the book. But what happened was, I did not purchase the book. I actually rented it from my local library. My son had a meeting with his step team at the library. So, I was just kind of walking around the library. And um, this book caught my eye. And I read the back of it. I'm going to just read you guys what it says on the back. So it says, every single thing you do has a purpose, okay? I'm a witness to the fact that when you get a chance to look back at all that's happened, you'll see how everything you wondered about, were afraid of, 
or didn't understand was actually lining up like a perfect puzzle. So when people ask me, girl, what did you do to be blessed like this? I just tell them I was out there living, working hard, being truthful and sharing my story. That's really all I did. My soul woke up, realized that I was enough and decided that everything I ever needed lived right inside me. So let me tell you this same truth. Everything you need is right there inside you. Let your life launch into your destiny. This is how the book, this is how she looks on the back. She looks so good. And the book is really good. So if I can find it on Amazon, I will link it. As I stated, I did not purchase it. I rented it from a local library. And I think it has to be back on October the 26th. So that is my timeline to have finished the book by. But if you do decide to purchase it, read it and pass it on and bless somebody else with it. Because so far, like I said, I'm on chapter eight and I really need to take notes because this is a good book. So I'm gonna take this and if I have some time to read while I'm under the dryer at the salon, I will. And I did take my makeup brushes out to be washed. So we are gonna get that done in this vlog. So this is like my makeup bag. These are the only little tools that I use for my makeup. And then that's everything that's in it that was in my makeup bag. So I am going to clean these when I get back. This is a tool that I use to clean my brushes. I'm going to go ahead, get out the door before I be late for my appointment. And then I'll check back in with you guys later. <laughs> Okay, lifestyle lovers so I just left the salon so every time my hair grows out I get it cut <clears throat> because I cannot find a protective style that I actually like in order to let my hair grow back I cannot do the wigs it just I, I was telling my daughter last night if I have to take it off at night, it just does, to me, it doesn't feel like my hair is done. So, um, my stylist was telling me that she can actually make me a wig and sew, like, sew it down. And that way, I'll just have to come back, like, every, like, two weeks to, you know, get my hair washed and all of that stuff. So, I may try that. She, um, told me what kind of hair to get and all of that stuff. So, I, I, I may try that so I can let my hair grow back because... When the spring comes, I, I want some braids. I was real, I was real jealous of everybody with their braids this summer because I, I want to do me some like braids. So right now I'm at Popeye's getting me something to eat. I am starving. They um they were out of nuggets. Thank you, sir. Okay, you too. They were out of the nuggets. Have you guys ever tried Popeye's nuggets? So they were all out of nuggets and tenders. So I just got a two piece. 
with some fries and a biscuit. I'm so hungry. So, uh -uh, I told them two legs. I don't feel like getting out my car. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and get my toes done because I may have to get my grandson in the morning. My daughter needs to work seven to three. Oh, she's been having some issues this weekend. So, I think I may go ahead and get me a pedicure, I think. <laughs> I got to stop saying stuff because if I don't do it, then I'm looking crazy. But I'll check back in with you guys a little later. It's good and hot. Mm. Ain't nothing like fresh, hot food. I made it back home. Um, I ordered some parts for my stair, my staircase. Let me show you guys. I'll act, I'll show you the parts tomorrow. But this came, this package was on the porch when I got home. So if you don't know, I am getting this wall right here knocked out and it's going to be replaced with stair rail railing and um, the parts i ordered some of the parts not all of them got food on my mouth i ordered some of the parts not all of them because i just want to make sure that i have the correct parts. so i share that with you guys tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and wash my makeup brushes because i want them to be dry by the morning but I wanted to share this little thing with you guys that I use to wash my makeup brushes. One of you asked me, what do I use? To wash my makeup brushes, I just use hot water and Dawn dish soap. So what I'll do is just put some hot water, add a little bit of dish soap, let them soak for a little while, and then I'll start scrubbing them against this little thing. I'll link it below. I got it off Amazon and I've had, I have two of them. So I've had it for maybe a year or two, maybe even longer, but I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. If you've never seen it or heard of it, it's real good in cleaning your makeup brushes. And I think it may be only like two or $3 or whatever. So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow so i'll probably go get my pedicure tomorrow i have my grandson so he'll be here tonight my daughter she's gonna work a double she's gonna do 11 to 7 and 7 to 3 so he's gonna be with me my messiah is gonna be with me my up until that time so yeah so i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm kind of tired too um and i'm just gonna relax and get some rest and we'll probably just chill and watch a movie or something like that It's about 8.30. My grandson is in there screaming. He's playing Mookie PlayStation. And he is hollering so loud. Do y'all hear him? I 
I'm tired. If this is what it's like to have little kids, I don't want no more. He haven't even ate breakfast. Why is he up? Messiah, why is you up so early playing that game? Hey, Lifestyle Lovers, happy Saturday. So, um, we pretty much got up, ate breakfast. It's probably about 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I've pretty much been cleaning the entire morning since I've been up. So I wanted to share the items that I purchased for my stair remodel. They came in yesterday. Now the remodel probably won't happen until after Thanksgiving. I did have another quote because I was telling you guys that I had planned for my contractor Brian to do it the same person who did the fireplace but there's nothing wrong with getting multiple quotes. So I did have someone else come in and give me a quote and it was a pretty good quote. And Brian has been really busy lately. I actually seen him a few weeks ago when me and Babe were out to dinner and he was telling me how busy he was. So I'm not sure if he would have the time to even do my project. So, but, um, so yeah. So let me just show you what came in. And I'm going to insert a picture of how I want it to look or how these will look. It's in a, a satin black finish. Okay. So this is, you actually call them stair balusters. And so it'll look like this. Just excuse that noise, lifestyle lovers. I do have my pimple cream on. But um, my grandson, he's upstairs watching TV. And for some reason, he has to have the TV as loud as it'll go. Okay, so this is how the stair balusters will look. It'll actually be one of these and then one, like a just regular one next to it. And then I also ordered these little... I don't know what they call. I think they're called shoes and they will go kind of like at at the top like this. Let me show you guys. So it'll go at the top and you can get them at an angle. These are at an angle or you can get them just like straight, but I wanted mine to be at an angle. So it'll kind of be kind of like this. And I did not order all of my parts. I only ordered some of them because I wanted to take a picture, send them to the contractor just to make sure I had everything correct before I just start ordering a whole bunch of stuff. And if it wasn't right, I have, I have, have to return it. So, and I also purchased these jeans from Sweeney Styles. It's like some wide leg jeans and then it has like a, has like some distress right here and then a hole right in the knee. I'll insert a picture of how they look on the website. I'm not going to try them on. I was going to try them on, but I'm not going to. And then I also ordered these Versace high waist, uh, what are they? Kind of like, I guess it's like a panty or whatever, but I'm not going, going to wear it like that. I shared this a few vlogs back. This is like 
the athletic top, the Versace athletic top. So I'm planning to either do some cycling shorts when I wear these or some black leggings. And since it's high waist, you can kind of like make the border show. Um, to just kind of possible because the black leggings like these are probably about $200. I've even seen them at $300, but it really just has the Greca border, Versace border. So I'm just like, I don't have to spend $200 for leggings <laughs> when I can just do the high waist uh, panty and do like some black leggings or some cycling shorts. I may even put this on today. So you guys will get a chance to see it. I'm not gonna try it on because I wanna go ahead and get my Saturday started. What else I wanted to share with you guys? Okay. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I just finished cleaning my bathroom and I actually shared this hack on my Instagram. I think I shared it on Facebook. So if you are an active social media person where you're always on TikTok and all of that stuff, you probably have already seen this and know about it. It started on TikTok. It like went viral on TikTok and then it kind of spilled into YouTube because I have been seeing it on a few channels on YouTube. So I just wanted to share it with you guys just in case you have never heard of it. But you will need the Airwick Essential Mist and this specific one. I've already kind of opened it and tore into it. But they have two kinds. But this is the only one that will actually work. So just go ahead and take a screenshot of it. Um, I actually purchased four, so I have one in the living room, I have one in my room, one in one of my bathrooms upstairs, and I'm going to place this in my master bathroom. So it comes with a set of three batteries. I have already inserted the batteries. And this is a wallflower from Bath and Body Works. It comes with, it, with its own essential mist. You can also use that, but this is the hat using the scents from Bath and body works this particular scent is laundry day so i'm just going to go ahead and twist this off because i'm getting ready to put this in my bathroom so this is it actually smells like fresh laundry it smells so good so you just kind of take it and kind of pop it up until you hear it snap into place it's not going to be a perfect fit as you can see it kind of leans out a little bit so you just take the top, you snap it on, and then it has like the uh, settings in the back where you can do a low setting or a high setting. I'm just gonna place it on the high setting. Once you place it on the high setting, it'll light up. Let me do it again, because I don't think you guys seen it light up. So it'll light up just like that, and then the mist will start to come out. As, can you see it? So it, it randomly it randomly comes out. But what I've noticed is for some reason it'll just stop sometimes. So you may just have to, when you're not smelling it anymore, you may just have to kind of just turn it off and just turn it back on. But this actually works. I This actually works. It has my room smelling good. I think I have sweet whiskey in my room. I have... Um, what is, what is it? Mahogany teak wood in the living room because that's pretty much the living room scent. And then the laundry day I'm going to place in my, in my, in my bathroom. It smells really good. It works. So if you haven't heard of it, try it. I think it's like selling out in the stores. Um, Airwick has actually started to change the essential mist because I've, I've guessed they pretty much kind of caught on to it. If Bath and Body Works have not learned anything from this hack, they can definitely profit off this. If they are paying attention, they will start offering diffusers. And they need to have these ready to roll out by Christmas because people will definitely buy them because they want these type of scents in their home. And it's better than the than the um, candle because you can leave it unattended. You know, like you can go go to the store, Come back, you can smell it time you walk in your house. I can smell the one that I have in the living room. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed 
and start my Saturday. My daughter will be getting off in an hour. I'm definitely going to get me a gel pedicure and then I'll see what else the day brings. So I'll probably end up ending this vlog while I'm out. So I just wanted to go ahead and share this stuff before I ended the vlog. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I need to get out the door, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys my outfit. I am going to pair this with um, a blouse just because it's a little bit too much exposed for me. But um, this is like an athletic top. I think this top was $75, I think. Um, I will link it, you know, if I can find it, I will link it. It's a size three, which is a medium. And like Versace, a size three is typically a medium. So anywhere between an eight and a 10, I probably could have used a two because of course I'm smaller on, you know, in my breast area. And this is a three as well. I probably could have used a four. But as you can see how it kind of looks like the cycling shorts are connected. You can't even tell, but you can actually do this with leggings. I just had to kind of, you know, push, you know, push it down a little bit more. But it looks fine, and I'm going to pair it with um, some Versace slides because I'm going to get my toes done. And then I'm going to do like this black kind of like tunic from Express. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, I will link it. I'm going to go ahead and get ready because it is running late. Well, it's not running late, but it's, it's getting later in the day for a Saturday to go get your, uh, go get a pedicure. I did like a little light beat, so I'm wearing the Fenty, um, what is it called? I'll put it on the screen. I can't think of it right now, but it's like a kind of like a um like a BB cream, not really like a makeup, and then some concealer. And so yeah, so I'm gonna 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 go ahead and finish putting on my clothes, which is basically the tunic, and then get out of here. So I just left from getting my pedicure. Oh my God, that pedicure felt so damn good. I got a little bit of footage, but I really like laid my head back and closed my eyes. She massaged my legs so good. I wouldn't be surprised if I wake up with bruises on my legs in the morning because I bruise easy. It, it kind of hurt a little bit, but it felt good at the same time, if that makes sense. But um, I'm at, at Zaxby's. I'm going to get me something to eat because now I'm starving. Um, I know I've been eating like trash in this vlog. But I don't care. I don't even care. 
I'm gonna get me the wings and things with the wings, the chicken tenders, and the fries. This line is long, but I'm gonna make sure that my food is fresh. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I think this vlog is gonna be longer than I wanted it to be. I wanna get it uploaded tomorrow, which is Sunday, but the longer the vlog is, the longer it take me to edit and the longer it will take to upload to YouTube. But if I get into anything tonight, then I'll just start a new vlog. If I do anything that's vlog worthy, I'll start a new vlog, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here because I don't know how long it's going to be, but I think it's going to be longer than I had planned it to be, which is will be over 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get my food and I hope you guys have a great week, a great weekend. We are well on our way to 10K, so I am going to do a giveaway once we get to 10K. Um, some of you guys have been giving me some ideas, so I think I'm going to do a giveaway on some cleaning products that I can only get here in Jacksonville. Um, so, you know, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share the video, you know, if you loving the vibe on It's E Lifestyle. Tell a friend to tell a friend. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, get me something to eat, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!